What is up guys, it is Tim tonight here today. Welcome back to another Black Ops 4 Zombies video. And in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down all three of the Black Ops 4 Zombies reveal trailers. Yesterday, as you guys should know, the Black Ops 4 community reveal took place and there was a lot of stuff announced regarding zombies. And I mean a lot, much more than I expected. Now, before I get into the breakdown, I'll have timestamps in the description, so if you want to see a breakdown for IX or 9 without having to sit through the Voyage of Despair breakdown, you can just skip ahead, but without further ado, let's get right into the breakdown. Starting with Voyage of Despair, at first glance, this map seems like a sequel to Shadows of Evil. The people's clothing and the soundtrack kind of gives it that Shadows of Evil feel. Literally, at first I thought Snakeskin Boots was playing in the background of the trailer. But the trailer starts out at a little party on a ship, people are dancing around, there's a waiter serving drinks, and then we are introduced to our first main character. He pickpockets the lady he's talking to, and grabs the key out of her purse, and proceeds to smoothly slide it in a vase or something. Later on in the trailer, that key is used to open up a room they call the Millionaire Suite, but more on that later. Then we get introduced to the second and third main characters. I don't know their names, so I apologize for that. One of the main characters grabs the key from the vase and opens the millionaire suite. Then they are greeted by, I assume, just regular people, or since it's the millionaire suite, these guys are probably millionaires. One of the main characters proceeds to just mess up a millionaire and another millionaire that tries to get in their way, while one of the main characters fight off, you know, the guys in the suits, the millionaires. Our other main character, man, I wish I knew their names. But yeah, one of the main characters proceeds to send a tube filled with poisonous gas down to a safe room. I know, at first glance it looks like liquid divinium, but I doubt it's liquid divinium. And then we are introduced to our fourth and final main character. Well hello there. She then opens a safe and then we see a hooded figure, which I assume is the main villain of the map. Some dialogue is spoken here, if you guys want to check out the original trailer, I will put a link in the description, but yeah. Hooded figure, most likely the main villain, then the girl picks up this sort of artifact or statue I want to say, and the villain tries to take it from her. Also she has a necklace of the statue or artifact, which the villain also tries to get. She kicks his ass, and then the squad pulls up and gangs up on the villain, then he does something to the statue, and he actually turns into a zombie. In fact, everyone except for the main characters gets turned into a zombie. This sort of smoke releases from the statue and spreads around the ship, turning everyone into a zombie. Then you get some action shots of the main characters killing zombies. One character has dual wield pistols, one punches a zombie, one throws slime grenades or something, and one knifes two zombies at once. The knifing animation kind of reminded me of the Ragnaroks from Black Ops 3 Zombies. And then you get a pretty cool shot of the main characters. You hear a bell, further confirming this map takes place on a ship. And if you notice in the back, you can see an iceberg and they're about to crash into it. That's why I think it's set on the Titanic. Since I assume this is the opening cutscene for the map, maybe when we spawn in, the Titanic has already crashed into the iceberg and we get to fight and kill zombies while the Titanic is slowly sinking. That would be pretty interesting, not gonna lie. Now going on to IX or 9. The trailer starts out with the Voyage of the Spare crew sitting near a greenish smoke. They're just chilling. Dialogue is spoken once again. I'll have the original trailer links in the description. But pretty much a voice in the distance tells them to breathe deeply. I'm gonna assume this is some magic or something. Like they're about to inhale a potion. But I don't know. They breathe in the greenish smoke and one of the guys' eyes turns all beady and stuff and next thing you know, the characters are in a coliseum. The magic potion they were inhaling possibly took them back in time. Now I don't know if there is some magic going on, but I'm definitely sure they traveled back in time. Now it can be assumed they're in ancient Rome. I mean the map's name is IX and IX is 9 in Roman numerals and we're going to be fighting zombies in a coliseum so it's pretty safe to assume that we're in ancient Rome. Then we see a character with a mask. I'm assuming this is going to be the main villain of the map. Also, this could be the masked character from the first Black Ops 4 Zombies teaser image, but don't quote me on that. Also, you notice he has a lot, and I mean a lot of medals. This could also be the guy from one of the teaser gifs. Then you see the statue from the Voyage of Despair trailer, and the masked character proceeds to do something to the statue, and then smoke fills the area and turns the people, including himself, into zombies. 
This statue is able to release gas that turns the people around you into zombies, and since the statue is also seen in the Voyage of the Spare trailer, this might be an important artifact the main characters are trying to get. I don't know when this map takes place, it could be set after the events of Voyage of the Spare, or it could be set before. Also, I found it interesting that we don't have any guns in the trailer, we just have these spear-like weapons. Maybe we will be able to get guns out of a mystery box of sorts, but this map might be the most interesting Black Ops 4 Zombies map yet. We know little to nothing on how this map is going to play out. It is possible time travel is a key thing in the storyline, but we're just going to have to wait and see. And last but not least, of course, Blood of the Dead, a remake of Mob of the Dead. I don't know why people are saying Mob of the Dead Remastered when it's obviously going to be a remake. The trailer starts out with an image of a candle while dialogue quotes can be heard. Then it shows our boys Takio, Dempsey, Richthofen, and Nikolai. Now, this map will most likely take place in between Zetsubo and Garad, before or after the Zetsubo cutscene, I can't remember when. Richthofen goes to Mob of the Dead and sort things out. And since this is a remake and not just a remaster, we could be seeing new areas and easter eggs in Blood of the Dead. But that's going to wrap up this video, a little breakdown of all three of the Black Ops 4 Zombies reveal trailers. I just can't wait for Black Ops 4 Zombies. I feel it's going to be amazing. If you guys did enjoy today's video, be sure to smash the like button down below and subscribe if you are new for more Black Ops 4 Zombies content. But my name is TM Tanaya here. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Just keep those positive vibes flowing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.